In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create some really awesome speed ramping effect. So this is where your clip plays in normal speed, speeds up to something quick and then slows back down again. It's called speed ramping and this is how you do it. Speed ramping is a really cool effect and the really basic way of doing it is to just zoom in to your clip where you want it to start, select the razor tool, make a cut, go through to the point where it ends, make a cut, and then we'll right click, go to speed slash duration, and we can speed it up, close the gap, and then we end up with this speed ramping effect. But the problem is by doing it this way is we have that clunky start where we just instantly go into 300%. So rather than doing it like that, let's use some keyframes to ease into that and then ease out of that. So in order to do that, we want to right click, go to show clip keyframes, time remapping and speed. Now we just want to go to this bar on the left where we can see V1, V2, V3, and we'll pull up the track that your video is on. So I'm pulling up V1 because my video is on video layer one. So now you can see we've got this line and this line is representing the speed. So if we pull down, you can see that's gonna go slow motion. And if we pull up, that is now going to speed up. And as a result, by speeding it up, it is therefore shortening the clip and the clip does shorten itself. So when we play this back, you can see that's a really quick video clip. But that again is not the effect that we want. We are looking for real time, speed up, slow down. So in order to do that, we're going to use the pen tool. So select the pen tool, scroll through to the point where you want this to start. So that'll be there. Then I'm just going to zoom in on that point by pressing the plus button on the keyboard. And then you'll see there are two points. There is an in point and there is an out point. So if we separate these just by pulling one of them apart, you can see we've got these two different points. And this is the in point and the out point of the transition. So if I increase the speed after the transition, so we'll go up to, let's say 500%, somewhere around there. You can see we quickly transition into that. If I shorten that gap to have a really short gap, so we just do this, it's quite similar to how the effect we had before. So all of a sudden we've just started and sped up. So if you really wanted to milk that moment, take the time to get to that sped up version, then just increase the gap between the in point and the out point, and that would transition in. But to create the speed up, slow down effect, we then want to wait until we've completed that action to somewhere around here. We'll press P on the keyboard or select the pen tool, create that out point there. Again, separate the in and the out and then pull the point after that. So we'll pull that line back down to 100%, which is real time. And now you can see we've got transition in, speed up, transition out, back to real time. So this is what we end up with. It's pretty good. But let's say you've done all of this work, but you actually want the, the fast bit to be even faster. You want it to be even more intense. Well, all you need to do is just pull that line up and the points will just drag along in real time like that. So when we play this back, you can see that is much quicker now. Although because you've gone quicker, it's shortened the transition a little bit. So you might just have to go back in and just increase the gap on that transition just so that we now slowly go back into that. So the next time you want to speed up your footage, rather than making a cut, speeding up a section and then going back down to real time instantly, instead use this technique because this is going to make that transition really smooth and will help your videos to look more professional. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. And if you did enjoy it, then please consider checking out this video just up here. See you there.